everyone, it's Fran, and I'm finally getting around to learning how to use my friend's GoPro. I'm going to try and demonstrate how to put a Rhea egg into the ostrich egg box. Okay, now I've got the Rhea egg in there. We need to see just how wobbly it is. Wow, how much fun is that? That is wobbly. Adjust that side. Still looks kind of wobbly, and it kind of still is wobbly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the egg bot this way because I use my hand to cover some of the egg and just pay attention to this section right here and get this side as unwobbly as possible. Now we're going to go over to this side and do the same thing. We're gonna see how well we did. And there seems to be just a tiny spot right there. There's a spot, here we go. All right, we have it. It looks so much better. You might be asking, why is she doing that? Well, here's why. Our eggs come with growth bumps and they kind of like, you know, misshapen here and there. So while it looks like it is still wobbly, that's due to right here, you can see that it kind of gets a little bigger. And then it's not as big down here. That's why I use my hand to cover up the egg so that I can make sure that it's not wobbly. Now I'm going to put my pencil back in. I'd marked my pencil already to uh, where it needs to be. I'm gonna put it in there, tighten it up, and then I'm going to take and plug the egg box back in. Alrighty, we have it, there it is. It's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go over to my computer and start the, the printing. Sadly, uh, even though this is a 4B lead, it's a little hard for you guys to see as it's actually printing on the A. I'm going to zoom it in just a little bit and see. Some of you are probably going to ask, why does she use a pencil as opposed to using a pen? Reason is, is that for some reason Inkscape likes to freeze up every once in a while. So in the middle of a print, the pen stops. You can hit the resume, but sometimes the resume works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, then it's a little more complicated trying to get it, get the egg out, clean it, which is hard to do sometimes with some of the markers. It just doesn't want to come off. Then you have to put the egg back in and you have to kind of sort of get the pen to start where it started the first time. If you don't get it, then it's not, you know, it's not going to work. So most of the time, I start with a pencil. And once the pencil shows me that the pattern is how I want it on the egg, I will either go ahead and take the pencil out, put a pin in, and see what happens. I, you know, toss, you know, toss the dice. Chance it won't work, chance it will. But most of the time, after I've gone over the egg about three or four times with the pencil, I just simply take the egg out of the egg bot, get my marker, and then I go over the lines with the marker, making those famous little eggers dots on the pattern. round one. I'm going to hit the apply button again for round two.
time. I hope you guys um, will be kind and gentle after I've posted this. If you see something that you think I can improve on, uh, please let me know. I will keep trying to make this video a little better. I'm going to do another video that will show you uh, how I have the Inkscape portion of this setup. 